Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Today's video is a review on this wig that I'm wearing here, and this is a Paula Young wig. So I definitely have one other, yes, one other video of a Paula Young wig, and it's the Deidre, or Deirdre, um, and I wear her a lot. I love the color. It's in the color Flame Rooted. I will put it up here for you so you can go check that out. It's actually one of my favorite, favorite wigs, and it's under a hundred dollars so i think it's a great great value paula young does have some really good wigs i mean she has really good feeling fibers um which i love lots of styles now there are some styles that i don't like but there are several that i really do like definitely if you are wanting to keep at a certain budget for your wig buying check paula young out i think it's a really good place to buy some quality wig. This is Jolie, J-O-L-I-E, and I have Jolie in the color 812A6. 812A6 is called Pecan Rooted. Now there is a color that's 812A, but it's not rooted with the number six. This one you can tell has a darker root, uh, which is definitely what I prefer. If I'm gonna go with a lighter color than my hair, which this is lighter than my hair, my natural hair, I would really prefer to have a root in it because it just makes me feel more comfortable. Also, this one does have permatease. So let me just get close and kind of show you there. When a style is rooted and it has permatease, you're less likely to see those little hairs that are there to give it volume, basically. So that's what it's doing. Now, it is a basic cap, so you're not getting any frills as far as that's concerned. You're not getting a lace front. You're not getting a mono part. So you're not getting any of those things. But again, that keeps the price down, so that's really good. We will look at the wig and I'll show you the inside of the cap. So again, this is the 812A6. So it's an eight and it has a 12 kind of like a highlight that, that goes through it, which is very, very evenly dispersed, um, as you can see. So you don't really see any chunky highlights, right? Um, and then it has the six roots. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a 360 of this wig. And you know what, let me go ahead and take out the barrette so you can see kind of how it hangs. Okay, so here we are at the front. And this is my left side and my right side. Now, just so you know, if you get this wig, I love it in the picture. Um, if I can, I'll try to put uh, a picture of their stock photo here. But this one came totally in my face. I'm talking not even like that. I mean, it was like, it was like this, okay? Because, okay, the wefts, you know, run like here, 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 and all the way down. And the hair was like pointed down on those wefts. I guess that's what it was, I guess. So all I did is I got my steamer and actually it's sitting right here beside me. This is just a regular clothes steamer, okay? That's all it is. I didn't buy the John Renault one. You know, the John Renault one's like $75. So I just really didn't want to invest in that. It's worked fine. I've used it on several wigs and I haven't had any issue. You just have to be careful, just like you do with any other wig. But because this is VersaFiber, so VersaFiber is Paula Young's heat resistant or heat defiant uh, fibers. So that's what that means. So I was able to, I kind of started back here. I didn't start here, I started back here and just held it up and steamed it, steamed it, steamed it, and so on. One thing you do have to do, though, is, you know, if, you're, if you want your style to hold, whatever it is, you have to kind of keep it there. So let it cool for a second, and then you can let it down. So even if you're, like, curling it, same thing. So if you curl it, you know, you curl it, take it out of the curling wand or whatever you're using, and just hold it there until it cools. And then that style will set in it. 
just make sure that if you are going to curl or straighten or whatever, do anything with heat to any of your wigs that are heat defiant, that style is gonna stay there, okay? So even after you wash it, it's not gonna come out just because you've washed it. It won't come out until you change it again with heat, which I think is super interesting. So I haven't done anything. There is a picture actually of this curled. Um, that's one of the stock photos and it's cute, but I really do like it straight. Now, because there isn't uh, a fringe or a bang there, that's why you know you saw me with it pulled back, okay? I just feel more comfortable that way. You could, of course, do two, both sides. I feel more comfortable that way because it's not hanging in my face and I don't have to like keep pushing it out of my face. So I just feel more comfortable that way. Next, let's look at the inside of the cap and I'll show you some ways to style it. As I said, it is a no frills cap. It's gonna be hard to see this one because the cap is black, which is a good thing, I think, because you don't see, you know, if, if it's windy or whatever, you don't see the, the wefts or the cap when the wind's blowing. So the front is just that basic, basic cap there. This is where the, the front of the, the hairline is right here. So you can see it has like little, hopefully you can see that, um, little like crimped fibers around there. Now the front, the very front that kind of lays right here, it is soft. It is that soft material, which is what is on, no, it's actually not on the ear tabs. I was thinking that the um, ear tabs were the soft, like the velvet lined, but they're not. But I haven't had any issue with them, so I'm actually kind of surprised that, that it doesn't bother me. And then the back does have an extended nape and it's Velcro adjusters, which are my favorite, but it doesn't have that soft velvet texture or whatever, but that's fine. I haven't had any issues with this one feeling uncomfortable or like I just have to get it off or whatever. I think it's okay with me, okay? So it just depends on what type of person you are. If you're really, really sensitive to certain things, then you might not like it, but I haven't had any issue with it myself. I'm gonna brush her out just a little bit with my John Renault comb. Let me just tell you, these fibers are so soft, super soft. I haven't had any problems with her getting tangled, which just now she got a little bit tangled because I was moving the cap in and out. Otherwise, I haven't had any issues with this back here rubbing on my clothes. Now remember, it's heat resistant, which makes it tangle a lot easier but I haven't had any issue with that, like at all. So I'm really, really surprised with that. Let's look at some ways to style Jolie. So you did see that I had it pulled back here, so you definitely can do that. You can pull it back on both sides. Uh, you can, I don't know how good it would look though, you know, pull it all the way back here, but remember you don't have that bang to do that with unless you wanted to pull out some of your own hair. So, you know, you could pull out some of your bio hair here and pull it back like this. Something's poking up there, but you get the idea. So yeah, you could pull out your bio hair here and bring it up. It's not super long. You saw the back, it's not super long, but you could bring back some of it, maybe. You'd have to be really careful about showing the cap or any of the wefts, but that would be just a little bitty ponytail that you would have there. So, you know, you could do that if you just want to like run to the post office and you don't want to look too fixed. Glasses will fit just fine. I've definitely worn them and they do fit just fine underneath the ear tab there. And let me show you the ear tabs while I'm at it. I don't have any problems with Paula Young's uh, ear tabs. Now, I've said this before, my hair, my natural hair comes really far down here. So, I rarely, I don't know that I've ever had a wig that's completely covered up my natural hair. So, is that an issue? It might be for you. Not so much with me, just because I tend to wear darker wigs all the time. So, it's not going to be that big of a deal for me. But the, yeah, so it's right there. There's that ear tab and it does bend in. So, that's good. Okay, so a headband. I'm not sure about a headband. We'll see. Okay, again, you know, you don't have anything there. So no lace front or bangs or whatever. So you have to decide for yourself, like how you like, if you like that look or not. Um, I don't know. I may, 
I may do that. I just wouldn't want to look like, oh, that's interesting. She has this poof right here. <laughs> like, what is that, right? So, mm, I may. It's cute, though. Look how cute that is with a headband. Super cute. Right now, Jolie is on the Polly Young website for $69.99, and they're having a sale. They do have a lot of sales. I think right now it's 20% off, but sometimes it'll be $10 off and, you know, just different, different types of sales. So you can definitely get this wig for around $60, which I think is a great, great deal for just a regular, you know, everyday wig that you don't have to baby, maybe, like you would like a hand-tied wig or whatever. So I think this is a really good choice. So you might want to check it out. Just make sure that you understand that it will come to you with it in your face. I mean, it's flat out will. So you'll have to do something with the top there just to make it stay out of your face. But I think it frames the face really well. I love that it has this graduated angle here, I guess is what you call it. So it's graduated and back is pretty much all one length back there. I'll put up the, if I haven't already, I'll put up the measurements for you here. But that's it. If you have any questions, be sure and let me know. I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.